Good afternoon, Green Mountain. These are your announcements for Thursday, April 8th, 2021. I'm Robbie. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just a reminder, the next week is all asynchronous classes, including RAM time, due to testing. Students will come to school on the day of the test and do the rest of their classes asynchronously, April 12th through the 16th. Join NHS as they collect mac and cheese and cereal for Foothills Foodies through April 16th. Drop your donations off in the main entrance and support a good cause. Sources of Strength is sponsoring a ribbon campaign for mental health awareness. Come pick up a ribbon this Wednesday morning in the Commons. Wear the ribbon on your lanyard to reduce the stigma around mental health. Seniors, senior gala tickets are available through Friday, April 9th. There will be no tickets at the door due to COVID restrictions. Ms. Ketchum will be contacting ticket holders next week about table assignments. Tables will be groups of six due to social distancing restrictions. Whoa. Seniors, do you have a photo that you want to have shown at Green Mountain High School? Email Ms. Frisbee with your name and title. Please attach the high-resolution image, and the work will be on display from April 16th to May 6th, 2021. Don't forget to attend the Navy presentation right after announcements if you signed up for it. Any girls interested in playing golf this season, please, follow, please see Ms. Fine for more information. And now, here's the minute. What's going on, everybody? My name is Courtney, and you're watching The Minute, the series that informs you about things going on in under or to a minute, hopefully. Let's get into it. was a very crappy year to say the least. We rarely ever heard about the good things that happen. That's exactly what this is for. Here are the top five things that happened in 2020 that were actually good. Number five. Restaurants finally opened up about their secret recipes so we could make what we loved right at home. No more thinking about, oh, how do I make the Chick-fil-A sauce? Oh, how do I make the Chick-fil-A chicken? Oh, how do I make Olive Garden breadsticks? They released that to us, so we had the great experience of being able to make that stuff at home. Number four. John Krasinski, AKA Jim Halpert, Jack Ryan, or every other miraculous movie character he's ever played, created a YouTube channel just for the good news in 2020. We needed it at any chance we could get. Great minds think alike, don't they? Number three. Celebrities such as The Weeknd, Dua Lipa, and Taylor Swift all blessed us by releasing new musical albums to make staying at home a little more bearable. So instead of sobbing into our pillows, we were actually having personal concerts in our bedrooms. Number one victory royale, yeah, Fortnite, you're about to get down. That wasn't just me, right? Right? Number two. Some of the most anticipated movies of 2020, instead of waiting for them to come out in theaters, came right to us through our own TV screens. So instead of waiting for theater ticket prices to go down and paying thousands of dollars for concessions, we were able to watch the movies right as they came out and grab a box of popcorn right in the comfort of our own homes. Number one. Last but not least, the adoption rate of animals went up extremely in 2020. To make us a little less lonely, we had the opportunity to adopt a brand new set of pets and not only were we happy but so were our new animals well that's it for the minute more like two minutes but hey you got your daily dose of information be thankful i was your host courtney back to you